Oh, what a lovely spring day. It's finally starting to warm up here in Alberta Stan. Figured why not come out in the sunshine and take a look at some trucks. Is that DB Speed Shop? Dirty Shine King's Custom. Oh, this is a nice looking star. Oh, look at that. That's a cool truck. I'm digging the Western Star clutch plate or clutch pedal. Squeaky door, just like Snowman. <laughs> See, these guys realized you put a little money into the polishing and you can get a few more bucks out of out of the auction. What the heck is that? Almost looks like a, a beehive, but that's just the, the honeycomb insulation. Now there must have been something something there that was obviously rubbed right through the, the aluminum. Maybe a pogo stick or something. Could use a sandblast and paint, but other than that, she's in pretty good shape. Oof, that got a little dented, didn't it, squirrel? I'm digging this. I'm digging this star. Got a freight shaker Coronado here. It's funny, as I drive down the highway, I've really started to notice these non cylinder uh, air can. Well, I guess they're not air cans anymore. They're just the inlets for the air filters inside. And I suspect it has a lot to do with airflow and trying to get better mileage out of everything. So as you're out, out and about, you're, you're going to see a lot more trucks that do not have the old school air cans like those guys over there right just smooth sides guess that's where that's where trucks are going just got to get used to it oh yeah def2 coronado oh nice tall shifter oh that's that's pretty sweet i like the suede and the and the wood trim trying to make it a little fancier <laughs> uh, electrical tape why don't you just use some zip ties? Oh well, whatever floats your boat. Now that is a nice tall shifter. A lot of guys criticize the tall shifters, but but I'm a fan. I'm thinking I might uh, I might get Blake to help me weld some extensions onto the the six and four in the peat. I think that would be cool. Do you think maybe he's compensating for something? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice truck. It's even got uh, fancy curtains. Not bad. That's a cool shutoff too. Yeah, it's a nice place for it. Old shaker, good tires. Pretty rusty frame though. Nothing that couldn't be cleaned up. Cool. Jonesy. I seem to recall that was on another truck at a earlier auction this year. Hold my spitter. Dude, I can't hold your spitter. You hold my spitter, just put the spitters down. Tick tock. I wonder if it's the same truck or just the same company. Look at these beautiful trucks. Yes, gorgeous. MS Logistics. Someone had a little peek, but didn't bother to close the door or maybe it doesn't close. Oh no, a little plastic tab broke off. It's funny they use plastic for that. Save and wait, I guess. Yeah, good looking, Kenny. Thank you. I like the purple light covers or blue light covers. Yeah, this is a beautiful interior. Look, it's even got the button tuft up on the ceiling there. Oh, gorgeous. Nice double bunk. Yeah, this is uh, Good luck in Kenworth. It's gonna go for a pretty penny. I bet north of a hundred grand for a big long nose like this. 
And this one's a little different. It's got the the flat tops or stove pipes. Similar interior though. With the, the gray button tuft or button tuck, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean, the pillows with the buttons. Yeah, actually my main reason of coming out here, well, I mean, if you're a fan of the channel, you know I just love old trucks. No shit. But my main reason for coming out today is, holy, oh, MS Logistics got a whole bunch of these. Is somebody told me, little birdie told me, that there is, uh, oh, beautiful, beautiful graphics on this one, that there is some Oshkosh trucks. Oh, well, that's neat. What is that? Just some trim that gets... Just tighten these little set screws and it holds it in place. They'll give you a trim and you can get some trim. I've never seen that before. That is a nice little addition, isn't it? A little chrome on the fender. Yeah, I'm digging the, digging the graphics. So what do we got here? A new 389. Oh, wow, beautiful rig. Uh, if I ever retire from my day job, I'm thinking a long hood Pete. This would be just what the doctor ordered. Nice 389. Well, that's interesting. He's got the an air can back here. This must be for some type of blower setup. The full fenders, but he put a little chrome on there to make them look fancy. Joe Dierte. Don't try and church it up, son. Yeah, so they must tie into this and then they're able to transfer whatever they need to and from the trailer. Airbags on the unibuilt bunk. Of course, these newer trucks have the cab and sleeper bolted together solidly and then the airbags on the back. So the whole, the whole mess just kind of floats and pivots on the front. Try to make a little smoother ride going down the highway. Yeah, gorgeous Pete, gorgeous Pete. It looks like another fleet of stars here. They all got the the same little flame deal going on the the Western Star logo. Nice tri drives, but again, T880. So this is the new one windshield Kenworth. Well, at least it's got a moose bumper on it. Okay. Uh, nice interior, pretty plain. <laughs> Speaking of planes, it reminds me of like one of the new Air Canada or WestJet planes, just common gray, nothing too special, but good work truck. Use a new hinge on the door though. Nice and streamlined. Now are these actually dual pipes or is one just fake? Okay, that one's that one's real. It goes somewhere. What about the other side? <laughs> are we placing bets? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a dual exhaust, I guess. Oh no, it is not. I was deceived. So yeah, that pipe's not even connected. So this pipe here is obviously connected to all this uh, regen. I'm not gonna call it nonsense. I know old twin six likes to criticize new stuff, but the emissions with the DEF and all that only goes out the one pipe. And then the other pipe is just put in place there and it's not connected to anything. It's just, just for show. Reminds me of the, uh, when you didn't have a posi set up in your car and you do the, uh, the one tire fire. I guess this would be the one exhaust fire. Yeah, let me demonstrate. Although, since this thing has the DEF and everything in it, it's probably not even gonna smoke anyway. Man, that door sure needs a new hinge. Yeah. No black smoke, but you can see the exhaust tip there is all cooked, and that one's still shiny. Uh, I 
I guess they serve a purpose. Yeah, look how, I know, a squirrel moment, right? Look how peppered the back of this bunk is because these fenders go at least over the first two sets of tandems and then this third set would be obviously covered by the trailer. But this one only has the fenders covering the first set of tandems and not the second set. So the trailer, well, the trailer would still be here though, but I guess this guy is still throwing rocks up past this and just pummeling the back of the bunk. Yeah, that would need a, a little bit of work. Let's go take a look at these old stars. <laughs> missing some paneling there or what and paper towel makes the best insulator well, at least it's got a knobby extra points for that when a brand new legacy c check that out huh yeah nothing too special short little shifter I guess if you had the seat down on the floor, that would work. Well, if you're interested in Western stars, this auction's got a whole row of them. Oh, there they are. Squirrel. There's the Oshkoshes. Okay, so Oshkosh is a company out of, uh, I think it's Oshkosh, is it Wisconsin? And they started making trucks in the early 1900s, I was doing a little research on them, like four wheel drive, heavy duty, off-road trucks. And then they started doing military contracts and got in with the making trucks for the military. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oshkosh. Problem solver. Oh, these are awesome. I've actually never seen one. Close up. Now, of course, I'm a big fan. I love equipment and I love uh, reality shows. And I'm a big fan of Gold Rush. If you've seen that show before, you'll know old Tony Beats has a has an Oshkosh truck that he gets his son to drive. And uh, they usually they use it to pull some of their heavy heavy gear in and out of the uh, out of the gold mines. The hill is no match for the two eight-wheel drive Oshkoshes, originally designed to tow 60-ton tanks. Thumbs up or what? Killer. Have them like all the fire. Okay, good. Give it. And they're mining yards. So, yeah, big winch tractor. Oh, it's got dual winches. Yeah, I seem to recall that episode where Tony was mucking around. He had a barge he was trying to pull out of the Yukon River. And he had both those winches going. Let's see if I can get up. Single point hearing protection. <laughs> See if I can get up here without falling out of it. Oh man, might have to put the phone down. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's the only thing going against these things is it's got an automatic, but it uh, the cool factor far outweighs. Wow, look at this big old bench seat, military green. Oh man, I just want to buy this thing, just drive it around. Needs a new uh viewing window oh, you think it'll start okay neutral because as I learned with Dallas the uh, there's no park in a semi truck uh, in a semi truck with an automatic so when Dallas and I put it all the way forward it was actually in reverse okay uh, okay reverse neutral I think it'll go oh no uh, ether start. Oh, but ether's bad. <laughs> and why is there a button for it in the cab? Okay, do they got some kind of shut off? Or maybe the batteries are dead because so many guys are wanting to try it. Let's go check if there's a, a battery shut off because I would love to hear one of these bad boys run. So cool. All right, what do we got? Master switch. Okay. Battery disconnect switch. Do not pull switch handle when in running, okay. Push handle to connect battery power. All right. Uh. Okay, what we got going back 
there. Aw. No, not enough jam. Ah, oh, darn. Well, we'll try the, uh, we'll try the, the desert storm one next door. Let's see if that goes. Man, how cool is this? Looks like it's some kind of auto inflation deal going here. Now, how does that work? Looks like it's got, it's been capped off, but that would take uh, air from the truck. Oh, it looks like it goes down there. For whatever reason, they've, uh, they've just disconnected it and happy hookered it out of the way. Wow, so cool, airbags. Yeah, same old 30-30 pots. You guys have seen me install hundreds of times. The drive shafts actually look pretty small for something that's that's so beefy. Oh, check this out. Is this like a, a rear wheel steering? Yeah, the diff's tiny, relatively. I mean, it's big for a for a Dodge, but small for this thing. Yeah, looks like it's uh, it's got steering knuckles, so it's got some kind of rear wheel steering action going on. Okay, let's see if this one works. Uh, push handle to connect battery power. Okay. Uh, needs fuel drained. Uh, and these are tricky to climb up into, but they're so cool. Okay. I'm sure it's a neutral mark. dreamers like me farting around starting them oh bummer would have been nice to uh to hear one of them run now how does the rear wheel steering work i wonder if it's just automatic when you get far enough when you crank it far enough over they know you're not actually changing lanes on the highway and uh you're probably going at slower speed maybe it's speed controlled as well and then it would get those back tires to that back axle to turn red river army depot support soldier out the red river army texarkana texas big town eh? yeah we want to do it around here for a the purpose of the was to card rust <laughs> oh that's mint yeah, i wonder what those air hoses are over there and if anyone knows it's obviously taking uh, air and then what do you hook those up to I mean, there wouldn't be gas masks or something would there if anyone knows put that down in the comment oh, very cool oh it's even got an engine brake oh we could have heard an engine brake in an oshkosh are you crying what's that are you crying? Am I crying? No, I'm not crying. I I'm not a crier. I don't cry. I, I, you know, I work out. I have hobbies. The batteries have been charged. Oh, <laughs> oh man, this is so cool. Little stowage box. Front tire's a little low. Oh, man, I wonder what these things are going to go for. Is that cool or what? Yeah, I'm glad I came today to check these out. This is really unique. I like they even got their little Oshkosh stamp on the brackets. Oh, I wonder what, well, these are probably used for military applications as the, the sign on the door said. But I wonder if they've actually seen uh, seen service overseas. Man, can you imagine running this thing down the highway? I mean, are they even street legal? I, I suppose you could get some kind of certification for them. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. 
all right well let's let's check out what's under the hood here oh it's spring loaded minty well almost spring loaded the other handle off okay it is oh i love the the grip they put on there they must do that they must spray that on there and then paint over it oh come on there it goes all right how the hell do you get up there <laughs> yeah that was pretty safe at least i'm up here now and i'm on the grippy so what do we got here and we got the red river army thing is it a detroit i'm guessing yeah oh man i want to hear this thing run I wonder if i could ask them for a for a boost see look at that starting fluid it's the ether solenoid system now actually going back just reminded me back in the day my dad actually bought me this setup from finning or cat and i put it i had a uh, mid 80s uh chevy with a 6.2 diesel and i always had to add ether to it and i should have thought of the idea didn't know peg at the time yet so i should have thought of the idea that he has with the hose that goes right into the intake but i actually set up this system and ran the the solenoid powered it up and had a little button on the dash so when I'd push it, it would spray it right into the uh, into the air cleaner and the truck would fire right up. Worked like a hot damn. But again, ether's bad. Don't ever use it in your diesel engine. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I am digging this. Up, up, up. There it goes. Auction etiquette, put things back the way you found them. Let's see, we've got airlines up front here. I wonder if you're towing it, if it dies, and you're gonna tow it with another Oshkosh. You click in there and give it air and don't have to lock out the, the brake chambers. Oh man. There we go. Now maybe I'll check on this side. Take a closer look at those hoses. Let's call this the Oshkosh auction. It's all I'm looking at. Okay. Gas filters. I wonder what, what do you suppose that, that that is? Is it to filter out if there's gas in the area that the truck's driving through that it takes outside air and runs it through these canisters, these cartridges, and then gives you fresh air in the cab. I just don't know. Probably something like that. Oh man, the guys that got to drive these things and ride around in them are sure lucky because this is quite the unit. There must have been a whole bunch of what would this have been communication devices i'm guessing and they took them all out of here uh mobile data comm yeah so there must have been military comm devices and uh i guess you don't get that when you when you buy this at auction oh, but how cool is that <laughs> oh man i wonder what these are going to go for i mean they'll be way out of my price range but, I mean, what the hell am I going to do with it anyway? But I'm sure someone like old Zip Ties could figure out something to do with these trucks. <laughs> I like the little safety cage for when the cable breaks. You're safely, you're safely behind it and it won't take your head off, supposedly. Oh, rain cap. Nothing cooler than that. All right, all right. You're probably getting bored of me talking about how cool these things are. So let's go look at some other trucks, but I'm really, really curious what the what the sell price is going to be because there's only going to be a handful of folks that are really interested in them, right? Oh yeah. Turn off the turn off the master switch, Mark. We'll save what's left of the 
of the Duralas batteries. Oh yeah, those are just nasty. No wonder this thing's not starting. Okay, back to the little trucks. <laughs> now rumor is, is there's a, uh, a mid 90s 379 Pete with a B block in it. And that is right up Twin Six Alley. Oh cool, look at this old Kenworth. <laughs> I don't even know what this thing is. Would it be a C5 Honey? I guess so. It's a little deceiving with the uh, with the single lights, but I'm digging the the bumper they put on there with some additional lighting. This is probably mid '80s, maybe early '90s. C500. Ah. Well, where is that pointing to? Master disconnect box. Oh, maybe down there. Oh yeah. Oh, it's an automatic, though. Uh, yeah, I don't even want to mess with that. It's going to end up taking off on me if I start it up. Well, I think that's neutral. Gets to step on the brake, Mark. No. No, she ain't going to go. More dead batteries. But yeah, definitely the same dash and layout as the snowman truck. So this might even be a, a kind of a late 70s, early 80s. Okay, turn off the master mark. There we go. Not having much luck starting trucks today. Oh, Pioneer. That was a good company. I don't even know if Pioneer's still around. This must have been one of their trucks. Well, that's cool. They could roll up the, the, the roll. The live roll and swing it up out of the way. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Oh, I guess if you were bringing up something higher to the next level and then laying it down on this guy. Huh, cool. And some wagon wheels. Twin Six favorite. Oh, got his favorite beer in there too. Old Intersmational. <laughs> 70s brown. Yeah, nice. Oh, at least they put an 18 speed in it. That's pretty cool. But yeah, pretty, pretty plain interior, huh? Oh, we even got wagon wheels in the front. <laughs> that is a pretty vintage Intersmational. I'm calling under five grand for this bad boy. What? I, I'm curious. Sometimes. These old trucks, the trucks themselves aren't worth much. But if they got a B-block cat in it, then perhaps it would be something worth exploring. Although I think Internationals had their own diesel engine, didn't they? Oh, Cummins. Well, what the hell. Let's see if this old girl will go. The old ones are cooler because they smoke, right? Nope. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> you just see the smoke. How dare you? Oh, it's got a red dot. Condenser on the roof. There's the oil pressure. Oh, all of it. Must be good. Oh, a few little leaks down there. You don't need to worry about that. Ugh. Oh, smoky. Yeah, you might want to roll the window down when you're driving this truck. <laughs> it still runs though. Who doesn't love a mechanical diesel? There's just something so cool about them. <laughs> Comes with free lung cancer. <laughs> A little air leak in there too. Mint. Okay, where's that? 94 Pete. 
with the B block. I wonder, is that it? Sun's shining in my eyes. No, it's got the 389 headlights. Come on. Where are you hiding? Well, these are still cool. They're worth looking at. Pressed out short hood with a moose bumper. Nice trucks. I like the, uh, the chrome piece they put on the, what do you call that? Not the elephant ear, the, not the cowl. Come on, brain. Fairing? Oh, I can hear the comments being typed right now, correcting me. <laughs> Little yard tractor. I need this in order to swing the snowman trailer in front of the shop. This thing would turn on a dime. <laughs> Pretty rough. That's interesting. You can brake with your left or your right foot. It don't matter. It don't matter. Mac. At least got the bulldog. Oh yeah, it's got the bulldog. Old Freightlander FLD. Oof, look at this monstrosity. Someone's trying to get something going. I know, I know, I'll stop complaining about new trucks. This actually reminds me of, ah, the bunk looks bigger on the outside. It uh, kind of reminds me of the one from over the top. At least it's a standard, you get extra points for that. And I know there's probably a lot of Volvo fans out there, so I don't mean any offense. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> what, did you, what did you say? Um, what, did that, what was that? Whoa, whoa, I said it with all due respect. That doesn't mean you get to say whatever you want to say to me. You, sure, you, sure as heck does. Yeah, it's just not for me. But uh, come on, Mark, finish your thought. It reminds me of the one that old uh, Lincoln Hawk drove away in the end with that giant bunk. It's funny for as, like I say, as big as it is, it's like they're, it's missing the last four feet of space. Well, I guess that's a fairing, that's why. Yeah, so the bunk ends a little farther forward. Oh, exhaust for the, the little Bosto heater, bunk heater. Oh, here's an old classic. Look at this bad boy. An old original star with the notched out front bumper. It needs some Perlux lights. It's missing the, the louvers. Got a louver finer. Heavy truck sails. <laughs> Look at the exhaust. Because the way they had Western Stars set up, the bunk was right over where the exhaust popped up. And they had the fuel tanks obviously underneath the door. And so they had to, in order to get the, the, uh, the pipes at the back of the cab where it meets the, the bunk, they had to do this kind of goofy bend forward. Oh, minty green. Classic Western Star steering wheel. I need one of these for my collection. The hardcore solid mount passenger seat for short rides only. And look at this crawl through. It's been crawled through a lot of times. Looks like it's been repaired. Probably was leaking on the driver, so kept putting goop in there. I imagine the the seal is probably original and shot. Yeah, it looks like they were doing some patching. Steel roof too. I'm surprised there's not more corrosion. Well, there's a little bit back here behind the visor. Ah, let's see if this old star will sing for us. Oh, it's got good batteries. Can I take the batteries out of this thing and put them in the Oshkosh? You know you're in a vintage truck when you got the uh, the tractor parking blue button. You don't see that very often. So this must be a late 70s, early 80s star. A neat little truck, it's got a PTO. She kind of a cool collector's rig. I don't know how much work you can do with this little girl. Oh, is it gonna stop? Oh, here's my Pete, right here. 379, squirrel. Okay, we're gonna look at you in a minute. Yeah, 
It smelled like a Cummins even before I got the hood up. Well, there's something you don't see every day is the side visors. Those are really rare. Yeah. Still can't get over the goofiness of the, the tilt forward. But I guess it's better than if they went backwards and had them behind the cab like a goofy Freightliner. Anyway, suspension. Frame's not too bad. Is that an aluminum frame? Because this looks corroded instead of rusted. That might be, that might be aluminum. Let's see if we can find a, a better view of it. Yeah, it probably is. Given the fact that it's super corroded where the steel meets it. So aluminum frame, just like the Duke. I think they went to aluminum to try and save weight and uh, well, that wasn't the greatest idea. The uh, corrosion was one big problem and then uh, breakage is another. A lot of aluminum frames have cracks in them. As soon as guys are putting serious loads on. And look at this, it's only got pancakes in the back. So it only have park brakes on the front drives. Ah, neat little truck bit of a knock. But cool nonetheless. All right. I, want, I came here to look at the Oshkosh and I came here to look at this truck. Well, that's neat. It's almost like something out of the disco 70s. Heat shield. Well, is it straight pipes? Oh, then we got to hear this thing run because this is a B block if the information on the website is correct. Oh, okay, come on. Oh, of course, somebody strapped one side down but didn't strap the other. Oh, and I like where he mounted the, the train horns. Flames are cool. All right, first thing I would have to go is have to shave these headlights and get rid of this side marker. Oh, B block cat. This is the engine old twin six wants for, for LBL. If anyone out there has a B block and wants to trade straight up for my A block, hit me up. Okay, let's see if this old mechanical cat's gonna go. Oh, I love these years when they had the wood grain and the chrome around the gauges. This Peterbilt's custom built for twin sticks. Oh, deep reduction 15, we'd have to get rid of that. Okay. He's on one side, buttons on the other. Oh, it's uh, parts good. Oh yeah, boy. Oil pressure's a little low for as warm as it is. This engine is equipped with new technology, high performance 349A engine brakes. I wonder if those are the super jakes that I've heard so much about. Well, I got a little bit of temperature, so I guess it wouldn't hurt. Uh, where's the Jake's engine brake? Oh, there we go. We got more oil pressure. There they go. Oh, yeah. Super Jake's. <laughs> I want this truck. I want this truck bad. Huh. <laughs> this could be the next project for Twin Stick Garage, without a doubt. Actually starting in a pretty decent place. I mean, a little bit of corrosion. The skinny pipe would have to go. These uh, goofy fairings would have to go as well. But it's air ride, that must be an early air ride because I'm pretty sure it said this was a 94. 94 from Saskatchewan. Mint. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll tell you what, if it goes for under 20, I'm gonna buy it. But you know these damn 379s, it's gonna go for probably 40, 50. Even though, I mean, it needs a restoration, it needs work. But that damn B-Block cat, 
long hood, 379, square hoods. Somebody's gonna scoop it up. Somebody's gonna outbid me on it for sure. Yeah, this must have been the early Unibuilt, one of the first, because they came out in 92, 93, where they actually made the solid mount here. I know I mentioned it earlier, and then airbags in the back, and then the whole mess kind of rocks forward. And this would have been the uh, big hole, the big hole, the same diameter hole that I cut with those rings that I got from truck shrouds. Oh man, Canadian class, bet your ass it is. I want this truck. I would, uh, I could do a lot with this thing. 18 speed for sure. Just throw that 15 away. New seats. But those super jakes, holy cow. Yeah, the engine looks like it could use a, at least a two, maybe a three, three can spray bomb rebuild. Oh, this is, uh, I mean, I know my, I always mention my dream truck is a twin stick 359, which I got. This one would be a close second. This is my number two dream truck. Oh, come on, Mark. Your number two dream truck was a snowman rig and you got that. And then you got a cab over and now you want this. Oh man, big 15 inch cans. Oh, I want this truck. One more time. We gotta hear the, what's the fan going on high? We gotta hear those one more time, right? Oh, that is a magical sound. 1.86, so yeah, two million kilometers. Like I say, it's still gonna go for 50 grand. These things are too sought after now. Well, full twin six is going to be able to get into one. His price range. Yeah, boy. I want it. Damn it. Oh, check it out. Is that a square body 6.2? <laughs> I had this exact same truck. Of course, I had mud tires on it. Straight pipe. Oh, the camper special. Okay, we gotta see if this old girl's gonna go. <laughs> Low plugs. Four wheel drive. This is pretty sweet, actually. Power windows, locks. Come on, glow plugs. Oh, there she goes. No. Need the ether. How dare you! Oh yeah, nope. Come on. Oh my God, that takes me back. My dad had one of these and I had one of these. I gotta buy this thing. Let's take a look at the uh, the old 6.2. My dad's was hot rodded. He had a Banks turbo on. Oh, this one has Banks on it? Couldn't be the same truck. His is a two-wheel drive. Please tell me there's a bank system on here. Oh my God, the bank sidewinder turbo. That's what my dad had in his 82. Oh, she sounds a little tired out, doesn't she? Oh my goodness. Man, that takes me back. So my dad had a little hole drilled here with a little threaded nut and he would unscrew that and shoot the ether in and then he got tired of doing that so he mounted an ether can with a hose clamp or a u-bolt clamp and then he had a uh, door hinge and then he ran a choke cable into the uh, inside the cab and then when he would pull the choke cable it would uh bend that hinge and spray the ether from the can, can of canadian tire ether he bought <laughs> into that little intake Oh my God, this is cool. I should buy this just for him for old time's sake. Oh, a 6.2 with a Banks turbo on it. Wow, what a rare beauty. I gotta see what this is. Now I got two things I gotta buy. Old Smokey. 
Man, a square body diesel. Somebody's gonna snap this up. Let's see what she goes for. Body's in good shape. Decent cab corners. You don't need to worry about that power steering pump squealing. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that oil pressure. Huh. You younger folks, that's that's where the uh, cassettes would go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff I got to keep my eye on. Well, there you go. Another auction hunt. Found some cool stuff. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to comment down below. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button. That helps drive the YouTube algorithm, gets us out to more folks. And with that, I'll wrap it up there. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next week. And don't ever forget, if you got it, cool truckers brought it.